Hello and welcome to Lord Fat Gaming Plays Neverwinter Tonight Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fat. And today's Neverwinter Tonight Enhanced Edition video, we're going to be starting the point of no return for chapter one and we're going to get into Helm's Hold. That's correct, folks. We're going to attempt to end the chapter. This is going to be a two part video to end the chapter. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night content like this. And do not forget that notification bell so you get more update on my Neverwinter Night content and more. So, last video we uh, did some guides, and now we're going to do is finish up chapter one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to speak with Arabeth so we can turn in the last and final uh, ingredient. Then we'll do a little bit of side stuff before anything else. You are a welcome sight as always. Is this visit in regards to the fourth Water Davian creature? We are all eagerly awaiting its recovery. As soon as we have the fourth component, we can begin the ritual to create the cure. Truly, the heart of a hero beats within your chest. Of all who have sought the creatures, you have proven yourself above everyone else. It is shameful the way such a gentle creature is mishandled. The plague does enough harm without us adding to it. You have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. You have earned the right to stand with those who sought to aid Neverwinter in this dark time. I will spare a few minutes for you to get ready. But you must hurry. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. Return and speak to me when you are ready to go on. Now, here is the deal that is very important. Any other tasks that you need to do, go ahead and do them. Now, make sure you do not pick the, uh, let's start the ritual. Otherwise, you'll be locked into a point of no return, which sends you into another module. And, of course, that means you can't get back to the city. So, remember that. So, now I'm skipping ahead towards the uh, third assassins. Yeah, we're going to do that in this video for extra experience and money. Let me see here. Let's read the note. Okay, there is the note right here. There you go. Let me glance at it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to kill you because you killed my friends. Yak, yak. Now, here's the thing. The fourth one was bugged. It's supposed to be one as soon as you grab the reagents. However, either the enhanced edition or uh, some old bugs uh, kind of made it a little bit buggy. So, we're going to turn this note in right now. This is the third and final one. And that'll be it for all the assassinations. And you should definitely turn these notes in every time you get jumps. This way you get some nice extra experience points and cash. Which is very important. So let's do the process, shall we? Had Erebeth delivered the Water Davian creatures to my Helmites, news of their arrival would not have spread so quickly through the city. We could have kept their location secret and prevented the tragedy that befell the Academy. Hello again, and well met as always. Is there something I may do for you? Now, here's the good news and bad news with this uh, assassination. In the original uh, game, the old school game, when you had your ingredients in hand, you got jumped. You did this four times. However, somehow either in the enhanced edition or it was 1.69 that kind of bugged it up real bad. Which you only got three of four, which is unfortunate. So now we're going to turn this uh, in right now get to the uh, ritual. Now, here's a final warning. If you need to do any side quests, recipe of the forge, making things, or anything else such as henchman quests, do them now because once you speak with Larry Arabeth, say, go on with the ritual, we're going to be actually transported into another module. Yeah, that's the uh, end chapter module right there. So, in other words, do everything before we do anything else. So, remember that. So, we're going to speak with Larry Arabeth and start the point of no return, which is the end of uh, chapter one. We have all four reagents now. Quickly, time grows short. You 
have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. Then we shall waste no more time. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. Hail! You have provided a great service to all of Neverwinter in these trying times. As a token of Lord Nasher's gratitude, he thought you might want to bear witness to the cure's creation after all your hard work. Before the ritual proceeds, however, the four assembled would each like the chance to speak with you and offer their personal thanks for what you have achieved. Go on, speak with them. I must inform the town crier of the good news. Here's the deal about this area here. First of all, you got loaded into another module. All your plot items are all gone, so if you were really depending on them, sucks to be you. But here's the thing right here that's very important. This part right here is more of a dialogue. You talk to people, get some information. And then the uh, ritual uh, does start. It's really uh, simple. Now later on in the video, I'll show everybody where you get resurrected at for your henchmen. Also yourself too if you uh, do uh, die. So uh, keep that in mind if you are uh, death prone. Or unless you like to kill a henchman like myself, yeah. Just remember that too. So what we're going to do right now is uh, speak with the four NPCs which is very important at this point in the video right here and it will actually uh, start the ritual so I'll let this go on now greetings to you preparations are well underway for the ritual if all goes well we will have the cure in just a few moments if you don't mind me saying you have proven valuable beyond the average exterior you present none of this would have been possible without your help you needn't worry about anything your efforts got us this far, and now the ritual will take care of the rest. Following that, I will see to your reward. For now, you can leave what must be done to us. You've earned the right to bear witness, however, and I'm sure the others would say the same. I will try to explain. Is there anything specific you wish to know? Well, several of our Tyrian priests have already begun preparations. Their meditation will allow the different components to be combined smoothly. Desta, Benthic, and I will all begin the main incantations as soon as we are prepared. If all goes well, we'll have the cure in mere moments. None too soon for Lord Nasher. The plague has weakened him considerably. I think he almost considers it a personal insult to be seen this way. Well, we have prepared a small container. The mixture itself will be fairly unspectacular to look at, despite the importance of it. As you will. What do you want me to say? Well, once we have the cure in hand, we will determine the best way to get it to the most people as soon as possible. It will take time, so we'll treat the most severe cases of plague first, regardless of station. I just hope... well, we'll worry about other things later. We are very near our goal, but I can't help but worry about the effects of the plague. There is a great scar across Neverwinter. Already I see the distrust. The mood of the city has changed. When all is done, the people will want someone to blame, and I don't know if we will find anyone. Mm. I shouldn't ramble on like this when we are so close to a cure. This is a happy day, and we got here because of you. Yes, farewell for now. There is much I must do to prepare for the casting to come. The incantations are very complex. You should speak with the others. No doubt they will each have their own feelings about how our situation has changed. Well, hello. I imagine you are well pleased with yourself. This is your doing, after all.
there! A grand day, isn't it? And you, you are to thank. It was your effort that allowed us to progress this far. Neverwinter in this difficult time. I would ask you not to push into the affairs of my trusted advisors. Fenthic has my full confidence, and by his word I trust Dester to act responsibly. Do not concern yourself with it. Castle Neverwinter is well fortified and nothing shall disrupt the ritual. The cure is all that matters now. Things will not be normal until we have captured and punished the culprits behind the plague. I have never seen my Neverwinter injured so. Then Gaul? Yes, I had reports of his activity in the docks. We used to clash during my adventuring youth, but things have changed. I would have sought him out, but not while I am weak. To face him now would taint the battles we've had before. I've new villainies to deal with. I will allow it, though I would request that you make it brief. Thank you, but that will be handled by Erebeth, Fenthic, and Dester. The details of it need not concern you. If you wish information about my trusted advisors, I suggest you ask them yourself. They have been instructed to be cooperative. Yes, it is best that we commence with the ritual. Ready yourself. The play ends with this. The ritual will be beginning shortly, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this happen. I'll return afterwards. It's working! Concentrate! Soon. Very soon. It's done. It worked! We have the cure! Yes, Fenthic. I have the cure. What do you mean? Imagine? I must wish Fenthic harm rather than face the possibility that... that he might have known of this. Do not say such things. It cannot be. He was mistaken. He was fooled. He was... he was... Damn him! 
People won't let this pass. They have been denied a cure, and they will want vengeance on the traitor and anyone that helped him. I won't be able to protect him. I won't. Perhaps... perhaps delivering Dester will mitigate things. Find him alive if you can. Find Benthic and get him to... I don't know. I don't know what will help now. I... I don't know. People will think he's in league with the greatest threat we have ever known. I don't know. He was mistaken. He was an advocate for a traitor. People will not understand his naivete, his trust. Could you blame them for finding a scapegoat? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I can't see through Dester's magic. It probably leads to wherever he and his false Helmites originally came from. Desta claimed he came from Helm's Hold in the East, but I don't know how that could be true. They would have no part of a plot like this. Wherever the portal leads, I'm sure it will be dangerous. He must know we would send someone after him. Be careful. I don't know. Perhaps Desta killed them. It seems impossible. He came from Helm's Hold. If that great hall has fallen, this is an even greater tragedy. This is a huge undertaking. It seems like Desta has done all this to promote the plague. But why? So many dead. Now the hold? The city guards are needed elsewhere, so this task falls to you. Go before the portal falls! Time to chase Dester, and uh, hopefully Fentic is not involved with this. If he is, I have to bring both of them down, including Fentic. Sorry, Arabeth. I have to bring down your uh, boyfriend. Not my problem. So now we're at the uh, area close to Helm's Hole, so we're going to speak with this uh, dwarf up ahead. Oh, well, fancy that. I reckon you're with good man Destine, aren't you? What? Okay, what a dummy. I told him the truth and he ran off. You could go through the front here, but I prefer going through the cave since it's more experienced. So what I'm going to do right now is speak to this mysterious figure who just appeared and get some more uh, information from her. Yes, you come seeking the traitor, the bringer of disease. You are a fierce beacon of life amidst his undead. The walking corpses are a new addition, though the good people of the Horde have been silent for some time. The false Helmites, they forced the good away, but now even they are not enough for Destin, and he creates a hasty army of dead. I am not here for your questions. I give this insight of my own accord. If that is inadequate, walk away. Esther fortifies here because his role is nearly played out. He is abandoned. He has no bridges left to burn. The dead are plentiful, so he surrounds himself with corpses. It won't be enough. His death is ordained and his life is forfeit. I am not here to aid. I am not here at all. I speak so you know that none of this can be escaped. Desta has served his purpose and now tries to defy his fate. Neverwinter will learn to accept such things, even as you are allowed to take him. Remember well this lesson. Well, look like the guy we are after. His usefulness just ran out. Still, we're going to bring him to justice. Most likely he's going to hang or get beheaded. Finthick, I hope not. But I had to tell Arabeth the truth. Even if he's involved, he's kind of screwed. But we're going to have to clear up these skeletons.
Lilu, you're a little bit late on the turn undead, but a win is a win is a win, so let's go inside this cave here. Do the fight! That is a short dead dude. That's correct, a short dead dude. So now we have access to a hidden area that's uh guess inside Helm's Hold, which I think is very important. Let me see here. I'm being careful about doors here. Yeah, traps kill in Dungeon and Dragons. So uh, let's see if this uh door is uh trapped. Come on, Lin Loot. Okay, thank you. And let's go uh bash this up. There we go. It's all open. And there's a little boy up ahead. We're going to speak with him and get some information from him now. Hi there. Hi there. Here is the thing, the little boy is also a shop too, so if you need to buy and sell junk, guess what? He's the one you get to buy and sell junk from, so that is a good right there. He's the only, uh, I think, shop vendor in this, uh, I call mini module, which is a uh, chapter one uh, prologue. So uh, remember that from me about shops here. Still, we're going to just bust everything up. And yeah, I did get the uh, Desert Wind uh, Scrimmatar from the recipe of forge really useful weapon so we're gonna open this door up ahead will be uh, zombie warriors and uh, more we're gonna take them out I am going to say this, I am not going to free him no matter what. He could stay in there. Yeah, he worked for the cultists, but we're going to just search everywhere. Let's look around here. All right, that's a piece of gold right there. That is uh, really uh, good. Seriously, uh, good. So we're going to keep on searching this area for more uh, loot. Yeah, we're going to search for loot. Now up ahead will be a zombie lord and a zombie warrior. I'll take care of the lord. say this now, Lindu did a great job of handling the uh, zombie warrior while I took out the zombie lord. I won that race, so I'm going to shoot that. Okay, weapon ineffective. Let me see if I can use a uh, blunt object or I say Lindu right here to open it up. Smash it, smash it. Oops. She is down. Let's see if I can open this up. Let's see if I can bash it open. And weapon ineffective. Must be fireproof. Must be everything proof. Big ol' oops. 
Seriously, you're going to see in the video what happens when your henchman dies. Let me try to hit it one more time, even with a power attack. Nope, that is ineffective, so I'm going to teleport back. So use your uh, stone right here. There you go. We use the stone. And now we're going to go look for uh, Linlu. I think she is over there. Not he Yeah, I think she is over here. If not, I think she's somewhere else. Still, anytime when uh, someone uh, dies, they'll uh, come here in this uh, prologue which is uh, chapter one's prologue. So this room over here will be exactly where uh, Lin Lu will be or your other henchman or henchwoman. So we're gonna talk to her and say, yes, there you go, you're back. We're uh, ready and good. And I said, as I said before, uh, anytime your henchman dies or yourself dies, you will teleport back here instantly. So when you use the portal, there you go. We have used the uh, portal. So now what I am gonna do right now is actually uh, look around some more then uh, See what's uh, going down. Would you look at that? We have cleared this area out. So next up is we're actually going to go upstairs right now soon. And we're actually getting inside Helm's Hold the other way. There are two ways to get inside Helm's Hold. One is the sneaky way, which we're doing right now. The other way is through the big old uh, gate. We're going to clear out the uh, area that, that's from the big old gate too. So that's where I'm going to end the video. But for now, I'm going to clear out a few rooms to show everybody who we're actually uh, facing besides the uh, undead. Yeah, we're going to face some false Helmites. That's correct, folks. We're going to have to deal with them. So I'm going to go over here. Meanwhile, you should search everywhere for uh, goodies because you may never know. Plus one magical weapon or better or that plus one armor. Yeah, just search everywhere. So we're going to go over here right now and take care of some false Helmites. They just went down for the count, which is very good. And we're going to be taking care of business now. Next room will have uh, some of the same enemies like this, too. Do the fight! Well, that take care of business right there. Let me explain what I'm going to do next. Now, real quick, there are four guardians there. Here's the thing right here. I think if you do something wrong or a certain thing, they'll activate and they'll attack you. Now, there's a gem outside I'm going to grab and uh, use it in the hand in the next video. So this way I show everybody you have some extra allies for this floor, which is really good for exploring. Yeah, guardian armor. We're going to leave that alone. That's the uh, pedestal right there. We're going to leave that actually alone for now and go outside and clear out the undead who is outside.
let me reveal what went down. Dester uh, betrayed us. Fenthic followed him. We don't know his stats. Fenthic. We arrive at Helm's Hold. We're in the point of no return. In our next video, we're actually going to finish Chapter 1 with Lin Lu being resurrected. This is Lord Fent signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.